Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, introduce um, drilling holes. So we want to spot drill, drill and tap a few holes. So I suppose just have a quick look at the drawing first of all. Um, so we have a number of holes obviously here on this particular drawing. Um, these six holes down here are on the top level, which is on level zero, and they're M5, so drilled and tapped. The remaining holes on the top level, so around the PCD and these three holes across the top are just diameter four holes. And then we also have two by M5 tapped holes down at, let's say, the minus five level, so down on this level here. What I might want to do here is move my little uh, arrow up. Um, we can either do this at this stage or we could always move the operation afterwards. But this is a finish. These are two finish operations. These are all my roughing operations. So I want to drill and tap the holes before I do my finish operations. So I'm going to drill. So this dialog box opens, which has various methods for selecting points. So I can basically just pick the points off the graphics, like so. So it's pressed escape there on my keyboard. So I'm just going to unselect all. OK, so that's one way of selecting holes. Another thing that we can do, what we can say is we want to select entities. And over here, there's a quick mask. So here I can select all point entities or only point entities. So at this point, if I said I want to select all point entities, what you can see here is it will select all of the points that are essentially on the graphics area here on the screen. OK, I'm just going to clear that selection again. Now, obviously, I want different operations. What I want to do is I want to spot drill these holes. And these six holes here, I want to spot drill them slightly deeper than all of these holes here, because I want a slightly deeper chamfer um, on these holes. These tapped holes, then, again, are on a different level, if you remember. They're at Z minus 5. So what I'm going to do is say no to that. So what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to put them into categories of just colors. I could use layers for this, but I'm just going to show you how you could use colors. So I'm going to zoom up in here and with no command active, I'm just clicking. So left click and drag my mouse. So I am windowing across those uh, three points here. And again, clicking and windowing here. And right click. And I'm going to change that color to green. So I'm making those points green, essentially. So that's one category. So these are the M5 holes on level zero. OK, likewise down here, I'm going to select. So I'm just clicking on this point, one. And I might just have to zoom out of the quick mask to get out of the way, two. And I right click on there, and I'm going to make them red. So I'm changing that color to red. And fit and unzoom. OK, so I'm going to go drill. And here I'm going to select entities. And I'm going to use my quick mask. And I'm going to say only select point entities whose color is green. So now you can see I've selected the six green points, if you like, on my drawing. OK, I'm going to go to my tool and select a library tool. These are all spot drills, so I'm looking for my 8mm spot drill. OK, uh, again, on our machine, the spot drill is tool number 19, so I'm just going to double click on here and go to next and change that to tool number 19. The cutting speed for this is 55. And the feed per tooth is 0 0.06. So again, that will automatically calculate my speeds and feeds for me. So finish. I'm going to put a comment in here. M5 level 0 holes. OK, my cup parameters. So we've got a various cycles that we can use, drill and counter bore. So that will essentially feed down and then wrap it straight back up. Peck drill 
what will feed down and do it in a number of steps okay and what pectoral will do is it'll bring the tool all of the way back out of the hole a chip break essentially just when the drill retracts it just retracts a small amount so these are different can cycles and you can see then we have tapping operations and a number of custom operations down here so i'm just going to go drill counterbore um, i'm going to have no dwell at the bottom of the hole and my linking parameters so again i'm setting all of these to absolute okay so i'm going to set the top of the stock here is zero Okay, my retract plane, I'm going to put at three. Okay, and my depth, I'm going to say calculate, and the finish diameter needs to be 5.8. That's the diameter of the chamfer, and I'll overwrite the depth. So that gives me a depth of 2.9 from the top of the stock. I now need to do these holes, but in this case, I only want the diameter of the chamfer, if you like, to be 5 as opposed to 5.8. I could copy this operation, so right click and drag down and say copy after. So again, this saves me having to pick the spot drill, and what I do is I go to the geometry and i'm going to right click in here and reselect all and this time again i'm going to select entities that are only points whose color is blue okay and i go green tick to accept that so here i want to add the center point of this circle and this circle so i'm just going to select here and i'm going to add the center point of that circle and the center point of that circle as well so i'm going to spot drill and pre-drill these holes out as well so now i can see that i've selected all of those 13 holes and again in my parameters here i'm saying that the chamfer wants to be five millimeters as opposed to 5.8 and again the same retract plane and regenerate the tool path okay and then finally i am right clicking and dragging down and say copy after i'm going into the geometry i reselect all points and here i'm going to just select that point and that point go to my parameters and in this case here the top of the stock is now minus five Again, my finish diameter, because these are tapped holes, is 5.8. And what you can see is that's giving me a, an absolute depth of 7.9. But my retract plane, I'm still leaving at absolute 3 millimeters. So now if I was to select all operations and verify and play. So my face mill operation, roughing around the outside of the block. Multi-pass contour. Again, roughing this area here, leaving material on the sidewalls. Spot drilling the holes. Okay, and then finally a finish pass around the outside.